Great Scots! We're in Scotland where they like nothing better than to hurl huge logs into the sky. Ah, uh, it's called Tossing the Caber, and it's just one of the unique events we'll be choosing from when we compete here at the Burnham Highland Games. It's time to get counted up because we're in Scotland! And we've got to find out if the Highland Games will bring home the gold or the mould. Right, it's freezing. Let's get to the car. Ooh, I can't feel my knees. <laughs> This wacky event is all about displays of skill, strength and Scottishness. But is it the wackiest contest in the world? The contest will be judged on grossness, originality, laughs and difficulty. <laughs> if it scores over 20 points, the event will win the ultimate accolade. A golden farty marty and a chance to be named the Wacky World Beater. <laughs> Under 20 points and it scores mold. That's a must avoid. Now, time to get back to the action. We'll be competing in an event of our choice and trying to impress the judges with our sporting performances and overall Scottishness. It's time to get into training. <laughs> I've yet to decide which Highland Games event is for me, but I reckon throwing this metal ball is pretty easy. That's how you're supposed to do it. David Coltar and his sons David Jr and Lorne are shot put experts and previous champions who are going to help me choose my event. Keep your elbow up at all times. It has to be pushed. It can't be held out here. It has to be held right into the neck, otherwise that's a foul. At Highland Games gatherings, there are several strength events to choose from. I feel like I'm getting brought down. Or if you're short on muscle, you can compete in the sprint event called the Kilty Dash. A good one for Ambo, I reckon. That's right, you got a good hit and then that, so right. All right, we've mastered the shot put. I'm putting that term very loosely. What is this? This is a 28 pound weight. Yeah, you can hold it for this, yeah. I think. There you go. 28 pounds is just over 12 kilos. Not light, but I'm a beast. I can't even hold this thing. Yeah, might give that a miss. What's this one? Other than... 16 pound hammer. Okay. So, so they're just a bad old school golf club. Oh, you got, a spe you got special boots for this? Yeah, boots with spikes on them. Is that knives out of the boots? Yeah. These specifically designed boots are built with spikes to help with leverage. I want to remember you've got those on after the games. It's not something you'd want yeah. to walk down the street with, with those boots. They're not something to design or wear back home. But if they help me throw as good as a lawn, I reckon I'm onto a games winner. Almost seems like some sort of horror villain. Yeah. So I just dig in. I look tough. I think I know which event I'll be competing in. It's like land flippers. Yeah, I'll see you at the Kilty Dash. <laughs> Hiya! Yeah, well, why you're running around in circles, I'm getting into the swing of things with one of Scotland's strongest Hi men. Hiya! Put your arms into it! I'm not gonna lie, I'm not much of a sprinter and I want to wow the judges with my Scottishness. So Gregor's gonna teach me the skills I'll need for an event more Scottish than porridge, tossing the caber. You gotta stand well back for this one. Although people think this is a strength event, it's actually about the skill of tipping a log end over end. And balance it. Oh, wow. It's like a tree in the forest, a moving tree. And run. It takes years to develop the skills to lift the logs, let alone tip them straight. And as straight as possible. But with Gregor's supervision, I can at least have a go. Oh, just give me a sec, give me a sec. Get, get up. No, Amberly. Okay. This is your caber. Oh. The logs in this caber tossing get progressively bigger, so if I start small. You got it. I'm holding it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really windy. <laughs> I swear. Oh. <laughs> you got to flick the gear over. Oops, I forgot to let go. <laughs> well, I'm improving, but would my efforts hey, with man, the smallest man. caber really impress the Highland Game judges? Please, as if. Uh, what would you call that? Is that a twig for you or like a? That's what we call in Scotland a spurtle. It's what you use to stir your porridge. <sighs> 
I'm outclassed in this event. So it looks like I'll be running the Kilty Dash with Gilly after all. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Game's on tomorrow and obviously a little bit nervous because I'm not much of a sprinter, but then I thought, hey, idea, if I can't be the part, why don't I just look the part? So what I'm doing is I'm just upping my uniform a little bit, got my bum bag, which I love a good bum bag transferring all my contents into my new Scottish sporran. I mean, I'm very aware that girls don't normally wear this, but you know what, what of it? I'm starting the new culture, new trend, and everyone's gonna get involved. In related news, also got my nails done. Okay, so the Highland Games is tomorrow. Just gotta do my last minute checks. Uh, positive attitude, check. Most importantly, kilt, bang, there it is. Look at that, Whew, nice kilt. And most importantly, those bad boys. All right, it's a good looking kilt as well. Pretty good, bit heavy. Probably could be latex for the run, but uh, I'm set, I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna take this kilt, and it is a kilt, not a dress, to bed. The Highland Parade opens the games in style. And as we're gonna be scored on our ability to emulate pure Scottishness, it's a perfect chance to start channeling the Highland vibe. Never ever been in a parade before. Now we've both opted to compete in the Kilty Dash and Ambo's performance in the female race will be judged and compared with mine in the men's. But in the meantime, Gilly's new mates are smashing all the other events on our behalf. Dave's dad over there. It's going to be drawn between. It's an odd situation because he's got Dave, his namesake, Lawn, the man mountain, but he's competing as well. And they've had a one, a two, and a three. What an amazing family. Harry's the youngest brother and Lawn's biggest fan. Harry, how's he been going this morning? Uh, I think he's getting first in most events. This is such a good day, and it's just early in the morning. Watching the pros is pure inspiration for our Kilty Dash later. This came second. Watch out, Harry. Lorne has a new number one fan. Hello. So you know how cool guys walk away from explosions? Lorne always walks away from his little victories. Such a superhero. Just needs a cape. Maybe a better name, like Lorne O'Man. Lorne Lorne. <laughs> it's nearly race time. And since I'm planning a high-speed, flashy finish, I'm wearing my lucky boxes. And I'm going for Scottishness over speed. That's why I'm fully kilted up and ready for a photo finish. Photo shoot, of course. Ciao! Yeah, well, you won't look all that crash hot when you're last over the finish line. Whatever. Let's take a look at the stats. Name, Gilly, a.k.a. Nobbly Knees. Strengths, fast and furious. Weaknesses, visible boxes. Probability of winning, 69%. And in the opposite corner, Nate. Amberly, AKA Kilt Girl. Strengths, wearing a sparring. Weaknesses, uses her sparring as a handbag. Probability of winning, 55%. Let the games begin. Good. And Come tensions on. mounting down on the track as the junior races come to a finish. We've got the Kilty Dash coming up. It's not really my event. I'm not a sprinter, so I've decided to use alternative warm-up techniques, starting with a bit of a shimmy. Oh, wow. Maybe that's more the kind of warm-ups I should be doing. I'm gonna get my sprint on. It's too late for excuses. The female Kilty Dash is up next, and you're on, Kilt Girl. Points will be awarded for performance in today's races, as well as sportsmanship and overall ability to emulate Scottishness. Send her back 20 metres. It's a staggered start I've according to ability in this all ages event. She's been rightly put back. I'm deceptive. Ugh, I'm although deceptive. typically, kilt girls trying to win back an advantage. I'm so deceptive, this is unfair. And they're off. It's a determined start off the blocks for kilt girl. She's running like the wind but going nowhere fast. She's gonna, be, she's gonna be beaten by the little one. Four majestic athletes, symbols of pure Scottishness and sporting greatness. Go, kid! Yes, 
and she's just lost to someone with much shorter legs. Second. Oh. She's hugged everyone. She'd normally be dirty about losing that one. But since the judges told us we need to be sportsmanlike, look at her laying the hugs on. Oh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I see straight through that. And you should too, OK? I'm up next, and look at that. Ambo had three opponents, I have about 14, and they're all strongmen and ex-champions. That's right, Mr Nobbly Knees. There's super stiff competition in this event from Dave and Lon. You don't stand a chance. Go, boys! Hold your skirts down. Oh! And they're off. It's a flash of Nobbly Knees, a blur of sprinting mastery. Ooh, and a collision of kilts as at least two of the sprinters take a tumble. But Nobbly Knees has broken through the pileup and is going hammer and tongs. I wonder if that's a Harling Games event. And no way! Yes way! He's done it, folks! It's an epic victory and the boxers made an appearance too. Gross. Three, four years has had a knee reconstruction. It's the underdog story. They said he couldn't do it. They said I'd never run again. Well, that's just what I said. I hate running. But today I came out there. I had to get through a few. It's a great race. Still a little jet lagged. Came through the kilt. It was flying everywhere. I gave the spectators a real show. Let's put it that way. They saw my underwear. Just really proud. Really proud. Thanks very much. I'll just say, congratulations. Seconds OK. I mean, I won. Well, you did not. But Whatever. But coming, coming seconds fine. It's good. You don't even need to put on the slow-mo feature for a Lobo run she's running. She's all very chariots of fire, but no speed. That was so cool. I wish I got more speed at the end. That would have been an amazing shot. Go pick up your, um, because your, I, I won a prize. Oh, I'm going to pick up a prize. There's no prize for second. Bad luck. What an amazing, wacky event. David and his boys have taken out many of the top prizes across the different events today. But how did our performance in the Kilty Dash compare? Well, I won my race and you definitely lost yours. Yeah, but I showed great Scottishness and sportsmanship overall while you celebrated your win just a little bit too much, let's be honest. Yeah, well, I did come first over some of Scotland's best athletes. Whatever, it's results time. First of all, you need to be properly dressed. You need to have very decorative fingernails and toenails. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, that so, probably seems a little... Wow. Know. But we'll discount that because <laughs> it's not fair for you. But I have spotted one flaw. Yes. I'm afraid, giving. What's that? No, no sporing? You have no sporing. I couldn't afford a sporing. I was out of cash. <laughs> You're not in a sporing family. Family wins. <laughs> Sorry. That is... Oh! oh no, Chieftain. That is the wackiest oh, result. So I mean, fun. Kilt Girl <laughs> wins. How? She didn't even win her race. Gilly, please. Achieving true Scottishness is a far greater feat than sprinting. Whatever. Let's just move on, shall we? How does the contest itself rate overall? It's time for gold or mode! For graceness, despite Gilly's boxers making a last-minute appearance, it's a two! For originality, the Highland Games is one of the oldest and most original events of all. It's an eight. My efforts to toss a cave up were hilarious. It's a seven. And for difficulty, the main events were beyond us both. It's an eight. It's gold! It's a lap of defeat. And today, guys, I'm so glad you could be here and witness this. Gilly, you've got to go do a bunch of cartwheels in front of everyone. In the kilt? In the kilt. Don't be oh. shy. Cartwheel away. <laughs> All right, I'd like to apologise to everyone sitting over there. OK. How does a cartwheel work? <laughs> Straight arms! Oh, never. <sighs> this is so undignified. Oh, yeah, it's kind of how the lap of the feet works. <laughs> that was a. Don't count it! That was definitely one!